they will go and they go, oh, 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 did you see the TV last night? And you go, no. uh, and they go, oh, 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 I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. I mean, I mean, here, I mean, uh, 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 and they don't know what to say, and no. it just throws them all over the place. Secret strokers. People stroking the dog and yeah. thinking you didn't notice. Yeah, that's a funny one. So I get people come up to me, they stroke the dog and then they creep off really quietly. People that make the inappropriate dog noises, especially, yes, especially when you're trying to cross the road. So as they go past you, they kind of sweep their hand down, yeah. have a little bit of a tickle mm. um, and then carry on and don't think you've seen a thing. When you, when you turn around to them and you go, I saw you there, you sneaky stroker, they go, ooh. <laughs> I got that once, I said sneaky stroker and they told me not to be so perverse. <laughs> <laughs> the Bending down and giving dog directions. Yeah, that's a funny one. I always get that. People, if you ask someone for directions, they'll bend down to the dog and say, well, if you go down, down the road, turn left, turn right, and you're thinking the dog's not going to bark back at you. Woof, woof. <laughs> when the dog's there, you become completely invisible. invisible. Yeah. It is all about the dog. I mean, I just don't understand. I can't comprehend why mm. anyone would do that because a dog don't know what he's doing. Yeah. It's done on us. Yeah. And to be frank, you know, it's quite rude as well. Yeah. They should be talking to us and not the dog. Yeah. Does your dog know when the man is green? Darcy, do you know when the man is green? Yes, I do. Because obviously people tend to cross the road before the light goes green. Yeah. And if people start to cross yeah. and they see me, they, are, they often look back to see if I'm crossing as well. Yeah. yeah, yeah and yeah. if I am, they tend to go, oh, no. And it's that misconception that the dogs know where they're going and they guide us. In actual fact, people don't realise that we've got to know where we're going to guide the dog. So Dan, do you get the common phrase of those blind dogs are amazing? Yeah, those blind dogs are amazing. That's a funny one. I always get that and I'm thinking to myself, blind dogs? If, if, it, if it was a blind dog, it wouldn't be no use to me. <laughs> I'd be concerned if they were blind because I'd end up in a train. Yeah. It would be the blind leading the blind, quite yeah. literally. <laughs> So how do you pick up Zodiac poo? And people are always really curious to know that, like, how do you pick up the dog poo? As a guide dog owner, we don't actually have to pick up their poo, we're the exception to the rule. Yeah, le le legally. Yeah. But we do, because we have a social conscience, unlike yeah. other guide dog owners who see their dog do a poo and just yeah. leave it on the side for us to walk through. Yeah. Are you blind and can't pick up your poo? <laughs> Call guide dogs. <laughs> They'll do it for you. <laughs> You don't look blind. Oh, thanks very much. <laughs> a lot of the time I get, well, it's not you because you wear makeup and you dress smartly. But you cannot be stylish no. if you're blind. No. We can't all look like Stevie Wonder. No. Um, not our head from sight. And not our head from sight. Very superstitious. However, I do have astigmatism, yeah. which means my, head, my eyes do wobble from side to side. What's the best thing about owning your guide dog? The best thing about owning a guide dog for me is um, you get to skip all the queues. That's yes. the best one. So when you go to Disneyland, you get to skip yeah. all the queues. And the other one is when you go on the trains, you get to go first class. How did the guide dog change your life? I have to, I find this one, because I have a little bit of vision. Yeah. Uh, actually having a guide dog can sometimes confuse the dog. Yeah. Because the dog is trained to help you go in the direction you want to go in safely mm. and then go around obstacles. But you might see an obstacle and think, oh, I'm going to go around it that way. Yeah, and the dog yeah, wants yeah. to take you around that way. Mm. My speed is just like tribbled. Like I, I'm, I can walk a lot quicker now and I feel a lot more confident when I'm walking and I don't feel like I'm going to bump into people or lampposts. And it that, you know, comes a certain time in your life where you realise that you can only bump into so many lampposts until you need a bloody dog. So Zena's job is to get me to each route safely, but it's my job to be able to guide her where I need to go. So, so I need to know where I'm going, hypothetically, and Zena's there to ensure that I get there safely, safely and in one piece.